in a nutshell. In the past year or so, something seems to have, you know. What? No, it's good. We've been together a really long time. I'd like to enjoy having sex, and I'd like to have more of it. Do you mean more sex with me? Do you want to have sex with me? Me and your dad wanted to talk to you. We decided to start seeing other people. Together? Yes. In tandem? At the same time. Different people? But still together, me and your dad. So very much as we are now. Wait. So I am thrilled to see this series. Is it essentially a very long movie? I mean, we're at the LA Film Festival, right? Yeah, actually, I think it is. Um, it's a six-hour piece, uh, and it traverses a lot of kind of emotional terrain. Um, I think there's a, it's, it's very original and very real and honest and warm and funny and familiar and deep, and it's, it just possesses so many wonderful qualities. I think Nick Payne is one of the best writers I've ever had the joy of working with, um, it's an incredible cast, and there there are a lot of cinematic qualities ab about the show. I think it's it's an honour to to have it screen here. You know, this is the first time anyone will have seen it in America. So we ask a lot of questions about monogamy on this show. How how did you take that as an actor, as a person in your life, with your current life? How did you relate to it? Uh, I related to it. I mean, we live such long lives and, and you can never determine what will happen. And I think these characters, Joy and Alan, are so brave. You know, they they kind of, they do question their relationship and um, will go to great lengths to try and improve it. And they do it in very unexpected, kind of adventurous ways. It takes, takes lots of twists and turns and affects many people um, in their in their sphere. So... Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's something a lot of people question. It's, a, you know, it's a part of life. You want to be with one person your whole life. Is, you know, is it actually doable? Um, is it possible to grow with someone for that period of time? Uh, I always really admire when people have, you know, had a... The couple in the show have been married for, you know, over 20 years, or at least together since they were in their late teens. So it's longer, actually. I'm old. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's very human to question it, you know. And they make decisions that just go against or live outside social expectations. I think it's a really brave kind of thing that they choose to um, try. And also, I haven't seen it yet. I'm about to go see it with you guys soon, but you have a lot of very daring scenes in it, you know, sex scenes and a lot of stuff the BBC isn't, like, super familiar with. Of course, Netflix is. But tell me about being, you know, kind of, like, the helm of that. Well, a part of the issue with this couple is that, you know, they don't enjoy sex with each other anymore, and so it's very much a part of the story. Um, but it's part of the it's part of, part of the narrative. There's nothing gratuitous about it. It was a very um, supportive set. It was all very much integrated into the story, and it's part of Joy's journey and her growth and her you know personal discovery. It's a, basically it's like an awakening. You know, she's really learning to deepen her life and um, figure out w what she wants and who she wants it with. So you know, sex is a part of what it is to be intimate. Intimacy is not just sex; it's a bigger thing, but it's definitely part of it. So it's very much part of the show. It's in our lives. We could do whatever we want. It's more complicated than you think. A loss of any kind can be destabilizing. And accepting help or support can be frightening. So tell me about how you came up with the idea for this show. What really inspired it? Oh, wow. Um, I don't really know. Probably mostly meeting lots of therapists. So Tony Collette in the show plays a psychotherapist. I met lots of therapists. And then lots of the things they talked about in terms of relationships inspired the show and inspired her character, yeah. But there wasn't a specific thing. It was lots of conversations with lots of people, yeah. Is it an interesting question to just ask the world about monogamy? And is it, is it going to change our minds, perhaps? I mean, I don't know. If people want their minds changed, then watching the show, maybe it will. But I think you can enjoy the show and not have to worry about how you feel about relationships or not, you know. I hope it's enjoyable. 
in any in any way really but hopefully yeah it gets you thinking as well as it's funny and all that other stuff yeah and can you tell me a little bit about this co-production with netflix and bbc and how that all came about that was well it was commissioned by the bbc and it was greenlit by the bbc and then yeah we met with netflix and then they came on board uh when most of the scripts were written but before we started shooting i mean they're amazing netflix is the truth they're incredibly supportive um they're really open and kind of brave and bold in terms of what you can do with the show and they always encouraged us to be as idiosyncratic as we wanted yeah they were they've been great are great still are great yeah and so is there a chance for an ex like extended version of the season a season two or is it just purely a limited series there was only one episode, uh, episode six, where we had a lot of material and I wondered could we do a kind of Netflix hour and a half version because on the BBC you're restricted by a time slot but in the end we felt like we should just put out the best version and make one version. As for a second series, that's up to them. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd love to do another series but it's entirely up to the people that make those decisions, yeah. Hello, I'm Nick Payne and you're watching MEA Worldwide.